morning guys happy monday i thought i'd just quickly start this vlog before the painters come and i can't vlog um <laughs> but it's currently monday they were here friday and saturday but i think it's basically done i think they just need to like tidy up um and clean like edges and stuff like that so hopefully today will be the last day um just because I can't really do much while they're here. I don't feel comfortable leaving them in the house like by themselves. Um, nothing on them, they're super lovely. So I'm just sat in my room <laughs> while they're here so I'm out of their way. Um, but it feels so much nicer already. So that's good and it's just given me the absolute like kick up the butt that I needed to get my house motivation. So on Tuesday I have, tomorrow, I have someone coming out coming out for the stair runner. I just need them to give me a quote and tell me how much I need and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited to finally get this house in order. And I'm sure you are as well because that's all I've been bloody banging on about it. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek. Obviously, the carpet runner, runner is being replaced. Um, the stairs are all black now, which I love. And then everything's just fresh and white. So I feel like they just need to touch bits up, like here. I'm assuming this is what they're doing today. Awkward if they're not. Room. Obviously it's not gonna look like a huge change because it is just white, but it feels so fresh. And they also fixed like loads of cracks. There were so many cracks in the walls. Um, so it just looks so lovely. But then this is the kitchen. <laughs> Even though that looks lovely and fresh, nothing else does. But it's fine, I'm so excited just to get this place deep cleaned and back in order. Um, so my next big job is just to find a sofa. I feel like the sofa is going to just really annoy me once it's back in. Because where everything's so fresh and lovely, I feel like the sofa is just going to look a bit like grotty. Um, so I'm going to hunt that down today. I also do have some home deliveries. I bought a really cool lamp for the living room. Um, but I do need to find a new sideboard. And then I've bought new bedding for the bedroom what else have i bought oh i bought a new pan there sounds boring but wait until you see and then i can't really re remember what else but um yeah slowly getting there also i went to sephora yesterday i had a very wholesome sunday yesterday went to brunch with my lovely friend then went to the gym i mean i didn't do much but it just felt good to move my body and then I popped into Sephora and then had a Sunday roast. So, Lindy bought me this, which is just the cutest. Look at this little bunny. Can you even deal? I love her so much. So, Lindy bought me that. <laughs> and then, oh, I bought myself some protein balls. Just a new beauty blender, which I needed. And then I bought a new foundation and a new concealer from House of Labs, which is Lady Gaga's brand. Um, but I actually saw Molly May talking about this foundation and then I saw a few other people talk about how good it is. And I don't normally wear foundation, but I wanted to buy one because now we're going into the winter um, and it's like party season and stuff like that. I thought... I need a good foundation so I tried it on my hand in the store and it felt so nice but I've not tried it properly so I will try this this week because I do actually have a few events this week um so I'm so excited and then I just got the concealer as well because my concealer is running out um but yeah hopefully we've got an exciting week Lauren is down I think she comes down Wednesday so hopefully the house is in order <laughs> um by then and then what else we've got lots of events and i want to go back to pilates so bad they've not been since like 
Thursday, I think. Obviously, we're for the builders. Um, and I miss it. <laughs> so it's going to be a week of events and house things, hopefully. Um, but the builders should be here at 8. I think it's like 8 in a minute. So I'm going to shut up. And I will talk to you later. Okay, so the builders now, I keep saying builders, painters, um, have now gone. So I've got a lot of cleaning and tidying up to do. It's only like half 11, so they weren't actually here for that long. They just cleaned up and like tidied up some edges. Um, so a few things are still like wet and dry. And, but I'm going to do what I can do and just try and get this house clean and fresh again because it feels dusty as hell okay ignore the absolute state of me i'm so dusty and gross but i want to quickly show you some home bits i got because i want to put the sheets in the wash so i can put them on my bed um so i'll get the sheets in a minute first of all i've got a lamp Right, so what's left to do in this living room? I need a new sofa. I don't need. Let me rephrase that. I would like. <laughs> I would like a new sofa. I have loved this one. This one was from Sofa Club. When I first moved in here, it was my absolute favourite thing ever. Um, but I'll see where I've been mixing up the front room and changing it. I just don't feel like it fits anymore. It doesn't really go with the vibe of this front room that I'm going for anymore. And I would quite like to think a little bit bigger. And yeah, so we want to change that. But trying to find a sofa is honestly the hardest thing ever. Unless you've got unlimited money. I found loads that I freaking love. But there's no way in hell I'm spending £5,000 on a sofa um so next big thing to do is find a sofa change that i would love to change the sideboard i'm just really struggling what to put here now that i've got that tv stand there i just want some i don't know i just want to change it i just don't know what to because i've got the radiator there and i know this is silly but this is stuff i have to think about um, I film a lot of my videos here, so I need like a nice background. I have saved this on Pinterest, if you can see. So it's like a little bench with some books underneath and then like a massive print. So I think that's the kind of vibe I want there. I did just put the kitchen bench there to see what it looked like and it did look a bit crap. But I don't know if it's just because it was the wrong bench. So I think that's the vibe I'm going to go for. I'm going to try and find something cool to put there. And then I'll get a massive print or canvas and like make my own art. Put it on the floor behind my said bench. So it hides the radiator. And also just fills that room a little. Um, fills that wall a little. And then just little things like new curtains. Obviously, I can't get new curtains until I get a new sofa. And then just like new art and just little bits. And then this room is finally done. Anyway, totally got off on a rant there. Um, but I bought a lamp. Okay, so we've got the little light thing. Some screws. I should be doing this now. I've got so much to tidy. <laughs> I'll just unbox it and I'll make it later. Okay, so here's like the light shade. It's like white glass. So let's make sure I don't smash that. Then this is the base. So it's like this goldy brass. I don't normally like gold in this room because I feel like it looks a bit cheap, but this is like more brassy. Um, by the way, that is from Marks and Spencer's home. They had so many good things. I've got loads saved in like my wish list folder, which I'll put down below in case you wanted to have a little browse. Um, but they've got such great stuff. They've got this floor lamp that's like Soho House vibes, which I think I'm going to get. 
which I thought was just really cute. And that was 90 pound, but it's giving me Soho house vibes. Um, and I thought that would look cute over there on the side, maybe. Obviously I'm imagining that I've got this low bench that I want to get. Um, so that's one thing. Then I just got these new duvet covers. As I've got these linen sheets that I love, like they're actually this shade, but now we're going into winter, don't really want linen sheets. And this is from a collection called Fired Earth on MS, and it was like all earthy tones, like just like rustic materials, and it was honestly so freaking nice. I could have bought the whole collection. Um, so these are the bed sheets I went for. They're in shade Malm. And they feel so freaking soft. So I'm gonna put them in the wash now. Hopefully they'll be dry by tonight. Get a pillowcase out. But they feel so soft and nice. And they were very reasonable. They were £60 for a king size quilt and pillowcases. Okay, it doesn't look exciting there, but on, hopefully that looks lovely. And then just one last thing. I'm gonna kind of stop ordering stuff until I find the sofa, because I feel like the sofa's gonna be the main feature of the living room. And until I know what that looks like, don't really know, don't really want to be ordering loads of things. Okay, this next item I just thought was the freaking cutest thing ever. And I think I'm gonna put it on the middle of the dining table. I mean, it's much smaller than I thought, but still it's so cute. I forgot the name of these little trees, but look. How sweet. Okay, the house is well and truly still a mess. <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing. Um, but rather than tidying it up or actually doing the work I need to do, I'm going to go to Pilates because I've not been for, I think like four or five days and I've been stuck in this house. So you know when you just feel like you need to move your body? That's where I'm at. It's also time of the month. So you know when you just feel, ugh. Um, well, you girls will know. So that is the PRA. I've got these yoga pants on from Tala. They are honestly the best things ever. They're sucking me in, which I need right now because I feel so bloated. And then this is just that puffer jacket from Pull and Bear I featured in my haul. Also, how cute does my little bonsai tree look? I love it. I am going to get a book to place on. Um, but as I mentioned, I've done none of the house stuff. That will have to wait till tomorrow probably but let's go also the way they've placed the mirror looks so long and tall good morning guys happy tuesday to be honest i thought it was tuesday yesterday for the majority of the day <laughs> so i'm very happy that it is actually tuesday today i've been to pilates this morning and i've actually got a very busy day so i need to get a bloody move on because as you can see I decided to wash my hair but it bloody needed it i've also just done like a 10 step skin routine as if i've got all the time in the world but when we're going into the new season my skin just gets so dry so i like to look after my skin and minus this little spot on my nose if you can see that my skin is in such a good place um so i am going to do like an updated skin routine if you would like to see that but i've been trying the new road products i've only tr been trying them for like three days so i'll report back when i've used them for a little bit longer so far so good though and then my base today which has given me a nice little glow is just like my normal skincare and then these two together are so good so this is just the l'oreal spf one thing i will always always swear by is l'oreal regardless like how many skincare products i use and get new ones in and spend loads of money on these expensive products i will always go back to l'oreal 
because I just trust them and I honestly swear by them. Um, so I'm just using this SPF today, which just gives you the nicest glow and like pump, pump, plump to your skin. So I've just put that on and then also the Hydro Pro Glow, which I've also been loving. So that's SPF 50. I freaking love it. Um, it's also such a nice base for your makeup. But the real reason I'm here is because... I'm gonna try the new products I got, the House Labs. I normally don't wear foundation in the day, but I've got an event this morning and then tonight, so I'm thinking if I just do like a bit of a heavier makeup than I would usually, it might last me till the evening. Honestly, the fact I work out most days and still can't walk up the stairs without getting out of breath <laughs> can't be a good sign. First things first. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've been enjoying this product so much more now that I've actually got a shade that matches my skin my skin tone. I also need to wash all my makeup um, brushes, but it's just one of those jobs that I always put off. <laughs> also, I still need to tidy the house. It's still a mess. I've got Lauren arriving tomorrow. I actually, I actually have her at Hotel Georgia twice this week. So she comes down tomorrow for one night, I believe. And then we have an event tomorrow. She goes back home and then she comes back down on Sunday. And she's going to stay Sunday and Monday before she heads off to New York. So I'm going to put nice fresh bed sheets on for her tonight. I actually have got an event tonight. Okay, I'll do that today, hopefully, or tomorrow morning. I also have someone coming round to measure the stairs for the, um, what's it called? Carpet runner. Because I feel like I can't appreciate the new freshly painted stairs in the hallway until the runner is gone. Um, so I'm excited for that. And then I also have someone coming round tomorrow to look at this leak which i'm not even going to show you <laughs> but i basically have a leak on my ceiling and when i was speaking to someone about it yesterday it was like well i'll have someone come out i'll have someone come out wednesday to look at it um but if you think it's going to collapse just call us i just thought i mean i think it's fine but it just looks gross and it keeps spreading anyway Back to makeup. We're gonna use the concealer. I got this in shade 21 light. They had so many um, shades, it was a bit overwhelming to be honest. So me and Lindy were there for ages. Okay, so far, feel, feels quite nice. It feels quite thick, which might be a good thing. I also did get a new beauty blender. Where is that? Okay, that blends so nicely. Don't know if it's the sponge or the product, to be honest, but. Wow, oh, okay, I love that. Okay, that blended so nicely. And I feel like I've done quite well with the shade. Now, for this, I got shade 270, which is light, medium, neutral. Again, I was going back and forth between like three shades. So hopefully this one's fine. I feel like I could have gone between any three of them, to be honest. Also, love the packaging. How chic. Okay, I'm making a mess of what I do. So apparently it's quite lightweight, which I like. I don't like anything too heavy. And apparently it lasts. So I'll report back this evening. Be interesting to see if I have to top up my makeup at any point. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my sponge. Okay, shade wise, very nice. Okay, I really like it, guys. I feel like I could build it up a little bit more. 
but I might just leave that one thin layer on and see how I get on as I mean it is like 9am but of an evening if you wanted to build it up I feel like you definitely definitely could okay wow really really like that let me do the rest of my makeup and see how it looks but don't know if you can tell it's so nice and super lightweight like it feels good on the skin okay quick outfit of the day just oversized denim jacket long gray sleeved t-shirt some suit trousers a belt that is way too big and then my sambas but we're running late so let's go <laughs> so i've arrived at the event look who's with me we opted for the orange juice lady <laughs> we opted for orange juice rather than champagne because we're wise because we're wise gals uh, but we've just arrived to the Marc Jacobs pop-up. I'll find out when it goes. I can't remember the date. But show them the new thing Oh yeah, we just had a little shoot with the new thing bag. But it's so cute. Me? Lynn, how gorgeous does she look today? I said this was a very me outfit. Gorgeous. I was still pissed with you picked right? Yeah, I was... I did want the chicken, yeah, but the thinking. onion put me off. Thank you. Okay, I'm um, on you just look, you're a cute little bunny. <laughs> you ever see a cute little bunny? Uh, I tried them in my vlog. Oh, yeah, I was like, look what have you got me? We've got matching ones and stuff like that. It's so cute. Um, we've just come for a little tea. Well, I got a sandwich and the gluten free girl got a cookie. It looked quite nice. It looked gorgeous. It yeah. Um, and then I need to go home because I've got a carpet man coming. I might go with you to be fair. Yeah. Um, and then... Yes, that's, that's today's agenda. Today's agenda. We're going to... Oh, wow, sunny. Why do I look bald? <laughs> There, or... <laughs> um, we're going to one of our favourite places to go get more matching pyjamas. We're going to Brandy Melville. So I have about 10 minutes before the carpet man comes. Ignore the mess in the hallway. My sheets are still trying to dry. <laughs> the only thing about winter is trying to dry your sheets. Oh no, my screw's coming out. Anyway, um, trying to dry your sheets takes freaking ages. Anyway, I thought I'd quickly do a Brandy Melville haul before he comes. Um, to look for, I'll say it again, they do the best basics, loungewear, pyjamas, cute little underwear. Like, just take all my money now. Um, so I've got these little grey shorts. I mean, pretty simple, but just very cute. It's like lounge around in. Then I got this long sleeved top. I don't know if you can, oh, if you can see the cute little detailing, but I love sleeping in long sleeved tops. Now it's getting freaking freezing and that room upstairs doesn't really get the heat so it's super cold then i just got like the matching sleep boxer shorts these are my absolute favorite then i just got this cute white off the shoulder top i thought it would look cute over like my gym kits i really wanted that sheer calcedonia i'm not sure if you've seen it sheer off the shoulder white top but it's sold out. This isn't that sheer, but it gives the same vibe and it was £15. And then another cream thing, shock, is just this, again, off the shoulder, 
baggy cropped jumper which again I thought would be handy to chuck over my sorry I'm being stared at here um my gym kits because when I go into Pilates in the morning it's freezing so I always need like a long sleeve top and that would just be great so that is what I got Okay, obviously we need to do a lot of rearranging, but I've just put some random crap there for now <laughs> to get the vibe. But I love, I love the lamp. The lamp is definitely going to stay. And then I've just put this print behind it just, just to kind of get an idea, but I will change the print. And I want to get new books and I'll clear out that bowl and I need to sort out that wire. But I like the aesthetics. We just need to play around with it a bit, but this all run and go and get good morning guys i've been rained on so ignore me <laughs> but i've been to pilates i've done a little actually it's not really a food shop i mainly just bought flowers cleaning products and some biscuits but i had to go get lauren milk because lauren is coming down and i'm an oat milk girly and she's a normal milk girly so i bought her milk and then forgot to buy me milk but i mean i'll survive um i also bought us matching kingda santas so we can have a santa and a cup of tea when she arrives i don't actually know what time she arrives um i also had to buy some like fresh towels and stuff so i'm going to put them in a the wash now first of all i'm going to put my flowers out i don't know if i should have this vase which is from h&m or just this vase that actually just arrived when i was sent some flowers Unfortunately, not from a boy, from a brand. <laughs> Although I'm addicted to buying cleaning products. I don't know why, it just brings me joy. I think it's since Mousegate, I'm just paranoid. I also bought this big candle from Primark. Jasmine and Sandalwood. It smells on freaking reels. So I've got a little Miss Watson. Hey. 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 Um, she arrived. I don't know. Like, and it's like a bloody bolt at the house. Literally, she comes Every and just. Every single time. I'm coming <laughs> and I'm like, explosion. Yeah. She likes to make herself known. Yeah, um, but we were just having a wine and a catch up, and she very much enjoyed her chocolate Santa. Also, Mr. Sheen there. Oat milk in already bought it so that was my gesture oh cute you bought yourself yeah, I know. Uh, but she's actually back down in a few days so i've got a lot of her this week yeah. anyway we are all ready we just said we dress like old women so that's why there's zero boyfriend sorry yeah that's maybe why i don't have a man but this I've, I've got a good excuse i'm married you're married and i just like to dress in men repella outfits but i'm fine about that yes a dress for women, I don't really care yeah. for men. Anyway, this set is from Zara. It's like a skirt with a long sleeve top, which to be honest right now I'm hot in. But I thought it was cute. It's giving me like skin vibes. It's delightful. Yeah, um, they've just done hair up. It's got a high neck, I've done a heart earring and some bangles. Um, and then this is tonight's look. <laughs> we look like uh, that's sweet. What's Car that Car animal? Harajuku girls. No, what's that animal? Raccoon. Pe peacock. We've come. Peacock. 
peacocks. Um, we've come That's to sweet. So sweet. We've come to food. Moral of the story. So well, can't, I can't be honest. <laughs> <laughs> can't film in there, but that is tonight's update. Oh, perfect. <laughs> You look, you look like you're not winning. I've got a massive one. We're home. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, darling. Cheers. Cheers to having 10 below. Me and Lauren were just saying we've got the same bed habits. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. Nobody in the whole world have I ever met. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> 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 Nobody, what? I just spit it out. Oh my god, why do I look so weird? <laughs> Can we start again? <laughs> Ow, she's burning. Be careful. Okay. I was warning the bed no up. There is no other person in the whole world. Why do I look so weird? Ugh. You look colder. There is no other person. <gasps> oh, careful, you've got hot tea. There is no other person in the whole world that has the same bedding set up as I do. No one. So we have a big square cushion at the back and then two and then I usually have like a cushion as a decoration which It's on the floor currently. But then you fold the quilt like I do yeah. as well, which is weird. No one does that. I remember the first time she stayed, she's like, Oh my god. I walked in the room and I went, Oh my god, you're the only person that folds their quilt back like like me. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's how we knew we were meant to be together. Mm-hmm. Um thought we've got a cup of tea. I mean, yeah. I've got the worst banging headache for... I look so weird. I can't get over, like, why... why it's, look... I'm currently vlogging on my phone because my camera's downstairs. But, like, why does it look like my boob is massive? Oh, it is freaking... It's quite big. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> big tea um, for me, baby. But good night. Good night. God bless. See you in the morning. Don't let the bed bugs bite. If they do. Paris bed bugs. No, don't take that. <laughs> do you know what I would love? What would you love, darling? Cup of tea. Good girl, thank you. Love you so much. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Lauren has now left. She left quite early, which is probably a good thing because I can actually get stuff done. Um, and she's back down at the weekend anyway, so I'm going to see her properly then. But last night was super fun. We went to the Anina Bing event to launch the new Kate Moss collaboration tote bag, which I'm going to unbox for you. It's in here. Um, so we went there and then there was a good group of us so we all went for dinner after which was beautiful and then we just came home and got into bed because I'm just a sleepy sleepy girl at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm exhausted but I have absolutely no reason to be. Anyway, the bag. I thought I'd unbox it for you. So it comes in two styles, the matte and the patent. They only had the patent left. By the time we were leaving but i still love it i also feel like paint and it's a little bit more fun especially if you've got a super simple outfit on but i just feel like this is such a great everyday laptop gym kit kind of bag so this is the gorgeous bag by the way i've got a ring light on because it's that dark um but i think it's gorgeous and it's such a great size when you want to just whack everything in there i feel like it would also make such a good airport bag or like a travel bag but for me i feel like this is just gonna be so handy when i'm running around but i want to take my gym kit and my laptop and stuff like that so very happy with that new addition to my wardrobe and then also this jumper is new in i'm absolutely obsessed with it and i've already styled it about four different ways this morning because I didn't know what to wear. I've kind of just gone for the jumper, of course. <laughs> and then I've gone for these suit trousers from H&M, which don't fit me anymore. I mean, they don't even fit me in the first place. They're so like tight around here. Like this section is just so small, I hate it. But I just love these pants so much that I still wear them. Um, and they're sold out, so I can't even size up, but we're just going to work with it. Then I've just gone for my New Balances, purely because I don't know what other shoes to wear. I feel like I need a brown trainer. Um, so that is going to go on my list of things that's missing from my wardrobe. And then I'm just going to go for new sunglasses. 
but my naked order arrived this morning hence the jumper and it's so good so i will do an unboxing at some point but today i'm off to meet mills we have an event this afternoon so we're gonna grab a cup of tea beforehand have a little catch up properly because obviously yesterday was quite hectic and then we're gonna head to this event together so i will bring you along for that but for now i need a tea and some crumpets because it's like too fat it's nearly lunch time also i've got another freaking house dilemma what is new <laughs> um i've got another leak <laughs> honestly like it's one thing after another i mean they're all like fixable issues so far so it's not the end of the world also i don't know what to do with that lamp I needed it in the front room really but I just don't really like it so I've just not moved it since the builders have left it there so ignore that but my boiler which is behind there is leaking so that's really lovely that's another problem I need to fix but for now I need some crumpets so I need to plug my toaster in somewhere else <laughs> guys if you've not watched The Good Doctor, you have to. Okay, got over my little crying episode. <laughs> but I've just had a little hand-delivered parcel. I always feel so fancy when I get something hand-delivered. But I've got to do a little unboxing because you know how much I love Charlotte Tilbury. And I thought it might be fun. So we have got my all-time freaking favorite i could only wear one makeup product for the rest of my life it would be this 